mobile devices. Now the problem is how to do market without annoying and how to use these tools of internet, these tools of internet offspring to market your product. Now today's my topic, I would like to tell about what direct marketing is all about and like to tell few words related to how it can be done without annoying. Direct marketing is a form of advertisement in which physical marketing materials, I mean brochures to take uh, brochures or any kind of a leaves are being provided to a customer where and these are provided only to the target audience. It means target market. When this is provided, they feel like taking the product if they are acquainted with that information. So this is all what the direct marketing is all about. Now direct marketing doesn't include like you have advertisement on internet and on TV, over the radio, it doesn't include that. Like direct marketing it can be on internet or door to door or it can be uh, providing any marketing, I mean materials to them. Now let me explain you what is direct marketing and how is it different from other marketing. Now, I would like to show the difference. Now, yeah. let me go with this kind of a marketing where a person is just showing a logo like this and he is marketing his product. Now that fellow, I mean the consumer who wants to take the product, now he doesn't know what kind of a, I mean company that is, he doesn't know anything. Do I go there and market? I think I don't. Now, there is also a second type of marketing that is social media. Now this fellow, will just provide you information. It means what? He's just talking about his product, his company, this is the product I have, this is what I'm giving to you, this is what I'm offering to them. Now he's just speaking about their own stuff. Now in this situation also, what you feel is, you want to take the product, but you are not in conclusion point that I should go with this product or not. Do I go to this market? I mean, do I go to this marketer? I think I don't. Next. Next come to direct marketing. Now this fellow direct marketer have done all the research. Now all the research related to the consumer. For example, what kind of a research I'll tell you this. I'll take it, I'll like to take example of Facebook. Now on Facebook, you first when you, I mean when you have an account, when you start up with your account, you have a thing like whether you are a male or female. There comes, like you know that these are the population who comes under male, this is the population who comes under female. Now, you also have a applications in Facebook that uh, like I like this phone, I like that phone, I like this accessories, I like this shoes. So that this information can be taken by the marketer who wants to market their product and they can also be acquainted and can approach you. So this is, this is how this, I mean, marketer will be educated himself about the customer. So when he come, I mean, when he approach the customer, he feel like it's more educated and he'll get more information related to the product what he actually need. So this is all what direct marketing is all about. Now I would like to focus on the methods of direct marketing. Like I would like to go from history. The first is direct mail, then is telemarketing then direct response advertising, then internet or online marketing. Now, let me focus on direct mail. Now, what is direct mail? This is a postal service. Now, this is also a form of direct marketing. In this form of direct marketing, see, I send, I as a marketer, I'll send a post to a customer, who is a pot I mean, potential customer or it may be a target customer. I'll, sell a, I'll send a post so that that post should be in such a way that it should be more attractive and it should be more useful to him. Now, how can I do this without annoying that customer? Now, you can do by avoiding junk mails. Now here, junk mail is a word used in internet. But I would like to tell about junk mail that is you just avoid the information which is irrelevant to that customer. So how would that you will go you would know that a customer should know the relevant if I mean how is that you are going to convey yourself whether that information is relevant to that customer or not. The, the first thing See, there you have to apply 
what you want to get from the customer. If you are with that objective, what you want to get it from the customer, that part will be so easy. And the next type of method is like telemarketing. In this telemarketing, we usually get calls, right? Now this are of two types. There are two types of telemarketing calls. One is inbound, the other one is outbound. Inbound means customer himself is giving information. Now for example, when you are selling a product or when you are giving a brochure, then you will have a toll free number. Now here what is the advantage if we, you are really acquainted you, with your product, I mean all of the things are going well, this inbound calling will fetch you good number of customers. But whereas outbounding, outbounding you will go with the information priorly and you will try to uh, give the same information to the customer. Now what happens and how can we market this product without annoying if we are avoiding outbound calls more, it would be a better that customer is not going to annoy. The next type, next method of marketing, I mean direct marketing method is direct response advertising. Here in this type of marketing, direct marketing, what happens here is like you have a presentation on TV. Here you are presenting about your product not to all the customer but to the target audience when you are doing this like you'll also give a toll free number so that you'll have a direct please conclude so i feel that the direct marketing uh, will really fetch a good customers to the company and direct marketing uh, i think in these days direct marketing should have to develop in such a way that where customers are really wanting what their product uh, I'm asking the same question I have asked for the people, but in your case, then uh, inbound, okay, there is no need of data because people yes. themselves are calling us. Right. About the outbound and also mails, right. even the uh, leaflets, whatever you are mailing through internet how, or postage, how, whatever it is, how, how to get the database in one source at least. At least one source. One source of getting database. Like for example, a target audience is like a good salary people, they can go to their uh, good companies and uh, be asking the data related to like we require the mobile phones, numbers and all. Uh, some companies will give, some companies may not give. That is also a proper way of getting it. The other thing, uh, whereas in supermarkets when you go there, uh, you'll have a add-on product of yourself. There, for example, you're, uh, write, you're giving a blank about there to write the phone number or else email id or any kind of that thing they'll write it definitely and they'll post it this is the also a source how okay, you can thank you sir.